What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode here on Raise Night Shift, where we talk about everything streaming related. Today, we're going to talk about five struggles you are going to encounter as a streamer. So let's quit wasting time here and jump right into it, shall we? So the first struggle you are going to encounter is equipment. This is a big struggle because equipment is expensive. Not only that, there's so much equipment when it comes to streaming. Should you get a webcam? Should you get a DSLR? What kind of lens do you need? What kind of backdrop do you have? What do you have to work with? Are you going to need a green screen? Are you going to need lights? There's so much to it and there's so much to learn that, well, it makes it easy to realize, oh, this can get pretty expensive. So even if expenses aren't a big deal to you, right? There's still so much equipment that encompasses streaming, which is actually why I really like talking about the topic, to be honest with you, because there's just so much that goes into it. It's hard to get bored with it. So even if I'm not streaming, it's fun just talking about each individual aspect when it comes to it. But that is a struggle because overall, if you don't, if you're not into multimedia in general and you have none of this equipment laying around, it does seem like it's a big hill to climb when it comes to actually acquiring all this stuff. But I guarantee you with enough perseverance and if you actually enjoy streaming and making content, right? You're only gonna have a fun time gathering up all these things. It's like going to Toys R Us as an adult. You know, you get to have that same feeling of, oh, check this out, a brand new camera. Check this out, new, new microphones. Oh, a mixer, whoa. So as I said, equipment's gonna be a big issue, but as long as you stick with it, you're gonna start acquiring these things over time and you can keep upgrading. But that's not to say it's not a struggle. So that's struggle number one will be your equipment. So let's talk about number two. What is number two when it comes to actually struggling as a streamer? The second one is going to be talent and skill. How good are you with cameras? Do you know how to work a DSLR? Have you ever taken a photography class? Not that you necessarily need it. Maybe you just use a webcam and you're happy with it and your visuals are out of the way, right? Well. What about audio? Do you know how to edit your audio and make your audio sound a lot better without the, the constants of the gain? Like, do you even know what gain is? So having the skill to actually not only buy your equipment, but use it effectively is going to be the next hurdle you fall into. But again, this isn't going to be a big rant of, oh my God, doom and gloom. This is all stuff that should be exciting to you. It shouldn't be a discouraging aspect because once you learn all this stuff, it's actually really, really fun. So by all means, don't get discouraged if you don't know how to use a camera. Don't get discouraged if you don't know how to work with audio or lights or a backdrop. It's all going to come into play. What's it take, though? It takes a little bit of dedication, but I guarantee you it's worth it. So let's dive into our third struggle. What is the third struggle? Well, I'm here to answer that. Your third struggle is going to be your creativity. So essentially, once you get all your gear and you know how to use it, how do you make your vision become a reality? Your creativity is going to be key when it comes to this kind of stuff. So are you going to be someone that pushes the envelope and does stuff that's exciting? Or are you going to be a charitable streamer? Like really, there's so much that encompasses streaming, as I said, because literally anything you can talk about can be streamed or at least uh, made into some kind of streaming content. So reality is there's something out there for everybody. Now, how creative are you to go lasso up your audience and pull them in? It's going to be all up to your creativity and the more creative you are, the more chances you are to actually succeed in this field. So by all means, think of things outside the box. I know it's easy to fall into the road that's already been created, but in this industry, in this field, in this area that we're in right now, the road less traveled is sometimes a little better than the road that everyone takes because that is how you stick out. So by all means, be creative when it comes to this stuff. Now, I know it's easier said than done. But I do believe that everybody has a creative side to them that can draw their own audience. So by all means, start thinking about what you want to do. And then, well, there's nothing really left except to go out and do it. All right. So those are all pretty, pretty decent things, right? Nothing too crazy. But what's the most obvious struggle? Number four is going to be actually gaining an audience. How do you gain an audience when you're not doing anything? And some, some bad advice that I've heard is just keep on talking, keep on talking, just nonstop to the empty void, which is the internet. Now, I'm not going to tell you that talking the whole time is horrible, but when you're talking to yourself and nobody's watching, it, it makes, it makes me a little sad. Now, why does that bum me out? 
The reason it bums me out is because some people take this strategy of just always talking to the camera and they take it to heart. Imagine if I told you, you know what? You should go outside your house right now and just start dancing. Just start dancing because you never know who's outside. Maybe there's going to be a Hollywood producer out there or, or a talent agency that's looking for a dancer just like you. So you got to dance everywhere you go, whether it's in your front lawn, your backyard, always be dancing. It seems a little silly, doesn't it? Now, I, I understand. I understand that you never know. So, sometimes the viewer count is delayed, so you don't know if anyone's actually watching you. But really, some people take things to heart. And, that, and that's why I've tried to be really careful in my videos as best I can. Now, I know that sounded really silly. But what's a better way of going about it instead of just dancing all the time or talking all the time to keep it on topic? Well, you can actually reach out to people. Say you actually were a dancer, right? Instead of dancing outside your house, start calling up local local uh, talent agencies. See if they'll watch you. Even though you're not, you don't have a big following, see if they'll watch you and have you on their show for more exposure. Find a way of having more exposure. It doesn't have to mean making your own YouTube channel or anything like that. You'll be surprised that if you reach out to people, they might just have you on their show, on their YouTube channel, on their streams. So by all means, use what's available to you. And if there's nothing available to you, make something out of it. That's where creativity comes in. But that is definitely an issue you are going to have to struggle with when you first start off streaming is building an audience. So the fifth struggle that every streamer will face, and this is honestly probably one of the most important ones, which I will get to right now, if you are enjoying the video, by all means, go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel. I am doing my best to actually provide content to you guys that hopefully you guys enjoy and it gives you perspective. In this channel, I do talk a lot about this type of topic, which is business and streaming, because I personally think it's really cool to make a living playing video games and, you know, essentially talking to people online. I think that's really dope. So if you like that kind of content, consider subscribing. But anyway, let's get on to number five. So after that shameless plug, what is number five? Number five is going to be a lack of vision. Now, I, I hate to disappoint you if that's not what you expected, but let me clarify a little bit. When it comes to vision, a lot of people don't see any of this becoming a reality. They just want to play video games and start growing. They don't have the vision of actually going from zero views to five views to 10 views to 20 views to 50 to 150 and so on. Essentially, you have to have a vision when it comes to this, and this comes in in terms of all aspects of life. You're going to hear me repeat that in many of my videos. This kind of stuff pertains to every aspect of life. You need to have a vision, essentially, on what you're trying to create. And this is why I really like streaming, because essentially it is a business and a lot of people don't realize that it is difficult to get people to watch you to play video games. It is difficult to rally around an audience and it is really, really difficult to stick to something where you put in so much effort and get little in return. So having a vision that, okay, I'm in the struggle right now, but where am I going to be two years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now? Not to say this is going to be your career, essentially. Not everybody's going to make this into a career, but if this is a nice little side cash of pocket change for your actual career, that's great. Not only that, you're going to be an entrepreneur. Essentially, you did create something which people want to subscribe to. So have a vision when you first start off streaming. It's really going to help you on those days where you feel like nobody's watching. And it's really going to help you grow your channel because you're five steps ahead. You want to think of the next move. And that is what's really going to project you into from having struggles and having more successes here on streaming. So really quick, if this is your first time checking out my channel, by all means, check out my other videos and let me know what you guys think about them. Go ahead and hit the like button. And if you'd like, you can catch me live on Twitch. I stream there randomly on occasion when I am not working on these YouTube videos. But with that said, I hope I see you on the next video. Good luck in your streaming and I will see you guys on the next one.